this question principle explains to us the meaning of battery and when it is constituted. Now, facts. Roderick, a man in his late 40s, suffered from hypersensitivity. While he was travelling a local bus during the office hours, another passenger crossed him rashly and bruised his hand in an attempt to get down from the bus. Roderick got very furious and sued him for battery. So, in this question, it is clear that the passenger did not cross him rashly intentionally that is the passenger did not have any intention to commit battery as is clear from the principle which says that a battery is the intentional and direct application of any physical force therefore the correct option in this question would be b that is accused passenger will not be liable for battery because he did not want to hurt the mr roderick and was merely an accident